I've spent the last 10 hours scouring the web for upcoming content and filtering it into this video so that you don't have to. This should go without saying, but spoilers ahead. I'll give you additional warnings for anything story related. We're gonna start with all the confirmed stuff and cover leaks towards the end, but there's one leak in particular that I think is gonna get you really excited with me. Let's get started into something that you've all seen before, the Polar War Bond. I won't get super into it because I'm sure you're not here for info on this, but something I think you guys are gonna excited for is this booster right here, called Motivational Shocks. It literally shocks Helldivers back into action after being hit and slowed by sneaky, unjust attacks like the revolting Bug Acid Vomit. Won't help much with area of effects like EMS strikes though. This will be essential in bug missions if it's as good as it sounds. The three main weapons they're adding is a heavy hitting assault rifle with a small mag aptly named the Tenderizer, a slower fire rate SMG with some stagger power, say goodbye to the stalkers, and a plasma rifle that does more damage the longer you charge. I'll link more information about it on the screen and in the description if you want to go see the rest of the Warbond. Now onto the list of confirmed things is the new mech. This one is for the autocannon cult, the Emancipator, with 150 autocannon shots and actual armor. These bots won't stand a chance. This one looks like it'll be leagues better than the previous exosuit just from the armor alone. I'll link a video in the description if you want to see more on this, but I'm so excited for the leaks, so we're just going to move right through this and get to the next thing. Next is something of a promise. While we only have a little bit of information on it, the home planets have generated a lot of excitement. The devs have promised that the home planets of the bugs and the bots will be nothing like the planets we've seen so far. Cyberstan is the old home planet of the bots, so maybe we'll get a glimpse of that soon. But if that's not enough to get you excited, it's believed by some of the rumors that the Vile Titans are actually small on the bug home planets. Again, that's just a rumor, there's no confirmation on that. But that does lead me into my next topic, the Hive Lords. Have you ever been walking around and you see these giant worm-like corpses? That's a Hive Lord. In the first game, they were mega bosses. This is likely what would make the Bile Titans look small. Remember, we're only seeing the head of the Hive Lord when we see these corpses. They're believed to be extinct now, however, there are rumors and speculation that the termicide might cause a new version of them to evolve, which would explain the large eggs on the new termicide missions. Now, we have two more basically confirmed additions before we get into those juicy, juicy leaks. So up next, vehicles. They were leaked around the time of the first mech, however, people have seen these in game, so they're basically confirmed. It's just a matter of when. We've seen two variations, the Rover, which is on screen now, and then what I'm more excited for, the armored tank. I'll leave both links to these in the description if you want to dive deeper, but I'm super excited for those. And if you have at all looked at leaks for Helldivers, then you've definitely seen this. One of the last confirmed things, the new enemy faction. Now, before I continue, some people don't want this spoiled for them, so this is your time to click off. Thank you for watching this far. The new faction is returning from the first game, the Illuminate, a highly advanced alien race. On top of just seeing people talk about it online, which we've seen everywhere, we've also seen some leaks in-game. There's blue lasers flying across the sky, and even some videos of them on the planet, yet when you get too close to them, they cloak and go invisible. And you can even see some cloaked ships in space. Some people claim that this is the graphics thing of our own destroyers, however, I feel like the shape of the cloaked ships is too different to match ours. But hey, I'm just a guy, maybe I'm wrong. Now, we've seen some blender rending, blender rendering models of them as well, and they do look pretty sick. So if the leaks are to be, to be believed, this is what the bug hole equivalent looks like. So you'll throw a nade in here. This is where they will spawn more out of. And here is some leaked audio files of them. This is in no particular order. It's just something that the data miners uh, put together in sort of a thematic audio file for you to listen to. So I'll go ahead and play that right now. For a minute. I thought I might never vote again. The hell divers are here. Unidentified hostiles incoming. at 30 minutes remaining. Enemy elite. 
Deploying illumination flare. Now, this does give us an idea on how they're going to arrive, but something I'd like to point out is in the audio, someone mentions tentacles, and one of the new weapons in the War Bonds has in the description, tentacle terror. Uh, this could just be a little Easter egg, but maybe it's also a hint at their approaching arrival since it's coming out in the new War Bond, but that's just speculation from me. Now, the bugs are very much a horde enemy and the bots are a weak spot and cover enemy. So I'm really excited to see what new type of gameplay is brought by these aliens. I don't really know what could happen. I've heard some talks about hallucinations and like uh, making us kind of blind, which would finally add the stratagem of the illumination beacon in the stratagem hero game, if you've seen that. Now, we have finally made it to the leaks and I am excited. Now, again, everything past this point could all be fake. However, if I have it here, it's because I believe the evidence is convincing. One more spoiler warning, as some of these are story spoilers, which are a lot different than just leaking weapons. This will spoil what is going to happen in the war. So be careful, but let's go ahead and get into it and knock out all these leaked stratagems. Now, there are actually a ton of these, so it's really hard to know which one's real or scrapped or just faked by some people, but the four that stand out to me as pretty cool that I just hope are real and have some pretty solid evidence behind them is these four. Now, the first one, and I know you're gonna love this, a nuke. I mean, come on, this has Super Earth written all over it. It seems like it's limited to just one use, but hey, it sounds like a lot of fun. Now, some effects are missing from the video that's playing in the background right now, like some of the explosion clouds and stuff like that, but you can see from all the moving parts at how big this explosion has to be. Next is the Eagle air-to-air -air missiles. I couldn't find any footage of this, but I'm sure you can kind of imagine how this is gonna look. There's not really enough air stuff currently for this to be worth it to me, but maybe in the future we'll get more or maybe the Illuminate will have more flying stuff. Uh, it's still super cool and I really wanna use it, so I am hype about it. Third, we have something very different than all the other ones we have, it's backup. Five soldiers with assault rifles and then a sixth one that has a machine gun. Uh, I think this might do well with the bugs, but I can't imagine they'd last a single second against the bots, but still possibly really cool. I mean, imagine four people calling them all down and you have an army of 24 soldiers plus four hell divers. You could defend the hell out of a place. Like I feel like defense missions would just become easier if this works as good as I want it to. Now, lastly for these, it's something I'm actually super excited for, for no real reason, the displacer backpack. It works as a safety net. If you were to take lethal damage, you just get teleported away, which sounds awesome. But the question is how far and how often? Because imagine you just get teleported into a swarm of bugs. That's not very kosher. There are some others, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link down in the description for those who are curious and wanna see the rest. Now, two things that may or may not be real, a camera that you can call down, which I've seen people theorize that this increases your rewards, but I don't really know if it fits into the game other than being funny. This could just be an Easter egg to the Starship Trooper movie, which they have a lot of Easter eggs towards that movie already in the game. So maybe that's what it is, but we'll have to see. I would love it to be added. It sounds funny and fun. Uh, and next, more practically, uh, the Scorcher, but in a pistol form. This would be pretty cool. I don't know if it's better than the grenade pistol, God's gift to Super Earth or the revolver now that you can spin it around and put the big iron on you, but we'll have to see. Uh, now, I've made you guys wait long enough. The big story update hot off the press. Well, a couple of days off the press. We've leaks of two new mission objectives and they look awesome and the potential for a super colony planet. You heard that right. And here are some pictures of it. It seems that the Terminide, Termicide Towers have caused some very unlucky events on Omicron and Meridian. If only we would have known that the Termicide would do something like this. Truly, what a shame that there was no way to know. So we know that there is a story progression involving Meridian. We have seen two different video announcement outcomes of the Major Order, 
Now, first, we have to get past Sony being a terrible publisher. But if we can get past the big boss that is corporate greed, we'll see some really cool stuff. Now, I can't show you these videos because they are someone else's, but I will link them both in the description under the names Outcome 1 and Outcome 2. But I can tell you what will happen. Drum roll. The planet will collapse into a black hole. Now, <laughs> I know, it seems that Super Earth's solution to the problem is to simply just remove the situation altogether. I'm unsure of the mechanics to this, but I believe it has something to do with a new mission objective involving dark fluid, and boy, does that look sick. Now, possibly separate, the other mission objectives is one that I've wanted for a very long time, and if it's what I believe it to be, it's the reason why I'm putting it at the end of the video. The objective is a hive buster. The leaks say that the mission will be an underground mission where you go into a hive and use the hive buster in a defense style mission to explode the hive from the inside. Raid style. Now, raid style missions are something the community has been asking for for a while, and that is why I am begging for this to be a real leak. Now, if you're still here, the last thing I wanna say before you go is please let Sony know how stupid they are. This is the list of all the countries that just literally don't have access to making a PSN account, yet Helldivers is still being sold in these countries, which is a disgusting business practice. The devs have said that this is Sony's doing and want us to make our complaints heard to Sony, so let them know. It will be hard to ignore this review chart. So, see you next time.